All right, slap news here. Get to know Dwayne Crespo. What are you eating for breakfast, my man? Dude, I love eggs and bacon. They got a cool, nice little restaurant over here. We had home fries are fire, man. So scrambled eggs, bacon, and home fries, man. All right, what is your favorite lunchtime meal that you have back in Rochester? Oh, shoot. Man, if I had to choose anything, I want, like, authentic fucking Mexican uh, tacos. I have a bunch of them. Like, that would be, like, the ideal lunch. But other than that, like, a sub, like, a go-to. Big, nice sub for a big guy, you know? So do you call yourself a foodie? Oh, absolutely, man. I'm from Jersey, too. They have some crazy food out there in Jersey. And Rochester is known for some weird food garbage plates. And so, like, definitely, absolutely. Okay, so Jersey subs versus Philly cheesesteak. What is better? Oh man, I need so I need to go to Philadelphia and get that cheesesteak for the first time. But uh, Jersey has this thing called a fat sandwich. Okay. You, they got like mozzarella sticks in it with French fries, like anything else, steak, and like that is delicious, man. So like I need that in my life for sure. <laughs> gotcha. So Rochester, um, obviously outside of Buffalo, a little bit of PA influence. Do you, does the culinary there have a mix of both, or or is it heavily influenced by the Buffalo wing? Oh no, they they have they have like their own style. They're like they they they're known for like the garbage plate, but they have pretty much anything. I'm pretty sure it's like eat eat the open food over there too as well. Like a big different cultures for sure. As for like Buffalo is mainly like that different style pizza with the wings, you know. Absolutely. All right, well, let's change gears. So like, what would you be doing outside of the gym training? You know, on your downtime and your personal time. So, like, outside of the gym, just hobby kind of thing. Like, I'm just chilling with the, the girlfriend of my family, the little daughter, uh, Eliana. Um, you know, bring, get some family time, man, because I'm away a li- little bit in the gym, you know. So, okay, okay. so what, is, what, is, what is the daughter into? Hello Kitty, Dora the Explorer. What is she into these days? She, she's one years old, so Coco Melon, which I hate hearing uh, the theme song of it when it comes on, but it's like, she likes it. She'll stare at the, the TV all day, you know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's, that's her, man. Awesome. Are you into anime, video games, anything like that? Uh, I, I love anime, man. Like uh, a lot of people make fun of me for it, but uh, it's what you grow up on, man. Watching Dragon Ball Z as a kid, and then all this new stuff coming out, and just, it's a nice escape from the world, and it's it's really cool to watch. Man. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people get into anime through Dragon Ball Z, but are you like down the rabbit hole any further in, in any like deep niche anime? Yeah, man, I love My Hero Academia. I love uh, Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer's fire. Um, yeah, I watch pretty much anything like Assassination Classroom. Like that, that's awesome, man. So I'm, I'm a big fan of anime. You know, what about video games? I, you know, obviously Ryan Phillips plays a lot of video games. Your Frank the Tank's playing with them. You know, um, Dorian Perez also plays. Are you in? Are you in that playing it live on the Xbox with those guys? Oh, funny enough, like I don't play video games. I, I don't own a console, so I, I, I any, anytime I've ever played uh, in video games are with friends. Like I play Switch Smash Brothers with Jesse Nutting, because he brings it on these trips all the time. So we'll be in his hotel room playing. But other than that, I got no experience. People got to teach me how to play. Okay. Well, what about sports? Are you in any any other sports at all? Yeah. So I was into strongman for a while, and then uh, growing up, I was a big basketball player and baseball player. And uh, that's my first love in sports, you know. It's re- really where I got my competitive edge and my, my trash talk from basketball, and I love it. But, um, yeah, I, I've i been playing sports since I was, like, four years old. Okay, so, like, do you have favorite professional teams in, in basketball and baseball? Uh, Golden State Warriors for a while. Like, people are on that, that bandwagon. Like, I loved it with David Lee. David Lee was my favorite basketball player, man, so, like, um, that, that's that's definitely Golden State for sure. But so, so even when the Raptors had their run, you couldn't go over the pond and, and support the, the the northern guys. Oh man, Vince Carter and uh, what was Qui- quiet with the Raptors too? Oh. Kawhi Leonard, yeah, Qu- won won the title over Golden State. <laughs> Kawhi is amazing, man. Especially that that I remember that game. Um, yeah, I would say Kawhi. Toronto's really fun to watch. So uh, they're the top three. I'll say the top three favorite teams to watch. Yeah. Have you ever come to Canada? No, I would love to though. Absolutely, I would love to. Do you have a criminal record that's holding you back from going to Canada? Uh, more, more money <laughs> holding me back from going anywhere, man. Like I, I'd be broke a lot, so like I, uh, to get a little bit of money to go travel, that'd be uh, a good end goal. You know, go to Canada, maybe Italy. That'd be nice too. You know. Totally. I mean, both places. Canada's a great country, big country. Toronto's not that far away from you. Probably, uh, you know, within four or five hour drive. So. Definitely got to check that out. I know you probably end up going south, but one of these days, go up north, have some Canadian poutine. Do you know what poutine is? Poutine? Yeah, 
protein is uh, that is like meat on fries or cheese and fries or something. Like yeah, that? so it's so it starts with fries. They add gravy to it, and oh, then they yeah. add cheese on top. So. Nah, you're bringing in the foodie out again, man. Like I, I love food. Obviously, you don't get as big as me, you know, just like eating salads. Like so, like. I'm down to try some poutine, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, poutine, man. So maybe, maybe they'll actually name one after you, Dwayne, if you come up. Oh. The Dwayne Crespo poutine. How's that? <laughs> iron, iron Giant fries, man. Poutine, Iron Giant. Like, I love it, man. There um, we go. Fast food burger of choice. Who does it best? I'm going to say not In-N-Out because I just had In-N-Out for the first time today, and it was not that good, man. And the fries are awful. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe Smash Burger probably is on top right now. Smash Burger. Okay. Have you tried Five Guys? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Five Guys. I love how much fries they put in my bag because they, like, yeah. dump that whole thing in there. Yeah. Uh, but Smash Brothers got the win for me. Yeah. So, you know, you know, outside of actual Power Slap, um, you know, as the sport continues to grow and the purse, you know, and, and, your, and the prize money continues to raise, um, you know, when you get that first big payday, what's the first thing you're going to buy? Dude, first I'll buy a meal, man. I, that's my first thing I always do with all the paychecks is buy one stupid meal that costs way too much, you know. Uh, not like too much, but like 50 bucks, you know, and just be like, all right, I feel good. But then big paycheck. Let's go to let's go to Italy. Let's go to Canada. You know, I like finally do something for myself and, and my girlfriend, my family, you know. Awesome. Well, what, what kind of ride does Wayne Crespo ride around in? A beater, dude. Uh, <laughs> what is a Mazda? Yeah, it, it barely could get to the gas station and stuff, you know, just it's what it, what it is right now. And then eventually get a more reliable ride and stop walking <laughs> awesome man awesome yeah i mean definitely being able to get around is uh, is an important thing we appreciate you coming out here we appreciate you doing this you know best of luck coming in, coming up to power slap one we'll have a, an additional interview for all the slap news people to watch we're going to get into fight uh, actual details with Dwayne crespo here coming up but we appreciate it you know him joining us here for you to get to know him a little bit better outside of the sport of slap fighting thanks so much for having me man it's always a blast talking to you man